Nation leading with our mandate, which strikes at midnight tonight when everyone is expected in a hospital in the state of New York or a health care facility to have been vaccinated. I will be signing an executive order to give me the emergency powers necessary to address the shortages where they occur. That's going to allow me to deploy the National Guard who are medically trained, deploy people uh, who've been retired, who may have had a license lapse, bring in people from elsewhere. That is not my first position though, my friends. My, my, my desire is to have the people who've been out there continue to work in their jobs, work in them safely, and to all the other health care workers who are vaccinated, they also deserve to know that the people they're working with will not get them sick. And we'll be nation leading. A lot to God during this time. And you know what? God did answer our prayers. He made the smartest men and women, the scientists, the doctors, the researchers. He made them come up with a vaccine. That is from God to us. And we must say thank you, God. Thank you. And I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say I'm vaccinated. All of you. Yes, I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones. But you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know this. You know who they are. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it and say, we owe this to each other. We love each other. Jesus taught us to love one another. And how do you show that love but to care about each other enough to say, please get vaccinated because I love you. I want you to live. I want our kids to be safe when they're in schools. I want you to be safe when you go to a doctor's office or to a hospital and are treated by somebody. You don't want to get the... This is the book of Proverbs 12 and 5. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. All praise goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors goes into the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught us the truth. Much love, peace, blessings goes out to all the hopefully elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. As well as the uh, hopeful elect that are out there listening, repenting, coming back to your God. So this is uh, going to be a lesson. I'm entitled this. Uh, something to the effect of National Guard workers to replace health care workers in New York. Now, thus far, due to the shortages of health care workers, which is going to be about 70,000 people losing their jobs behind this Vanessa mandate, which we know what Vanessa is, it's that shot they're trying to get the whole world to take, apparently, at this time. 70,000 workers will be out of their job. And that made me think about this scripture because what Esau is doing, he's advising the people, because a, a council in, is the same as a as an advisory, as an advisory. So he's advising the people to take this shot. And he's saying that there's a deadly virus out in the midst, which people need to be protected from. So therefore, they, that's why they need to take this. But the scriptures tell you that the counsels of the wicked are deceit, meaning when they say things to quote unquote be for your benefit or for your safety they have a different intention they have a different motive and the scriptures explain this because in proverbs 12 and 6 says the words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them you see so they they say their words to you so what so you can die and this goes hand in hand with their agenda if you look at something you research something called the georgia guidestones right that's a, a, an outline of the type of future society Esau Edom, which would be the devils, the so-called white people that rule this earth. That's their directness of what they want on their new earth, quote unquote, their new world order, which their new world order has been uh, spoken about in all kind of books. One of the books I've been reading recently is, is a book called New World Order by Ralph Eggerson, Right. And that that hey, one of the bottom lines of the New World Order is what bloodshed because they want to reduce the population. So if they want I mentioned the Georgia Guidestones, if they want. Uh, 
They want the population to be reduced to 500 million. That would mean they had to kill seven and a half billion people. And trust me, Esau has those means. He has those means because who knows what six months to a year or after the third shot, fourth shot, fifth shot, what is what this is going to do to people. You see what I'm saying? And when you truly understand your plans, you know, they hey, this isn't just the only way they look to kill people. They look to reduce the population through famine, through fratricidal warfare. Which is which is people warring in one another for for lack of goods and killing each other out of division and also using their military to kill people and natural disasters. So this is what's happening on the planet of the earth. But right now, Esau is being subtle. This is Genesis three and one. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which Yahweh God made. And he said unto the woman. Yeah, has God said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Now, when it's, it's explains Esau as being subtle, right? Because that serpent in the garden was not was not a was not an actual snake. It was a person that's attributed to being a serpent because of his snake like qualities. And this word for subtle is Irawam. Which means cunning, crafty, prudent, subtle. So if you look up this word for cunning, what does it mean to be cunning? The scriptures even tell you that Esau is a cunning hunter. It says showing or having or showing skill in achieving one's ends by deceit or evasion. That's why politicians are masterful at evading questions and using lies to what? To get to their means, right? The serpent's means was at that time, or his end was to get the get Adam and the woman to eat of the forbidden fruit. So what means did he use through subtility? What was his subtility in that situation? He lied to Eve. It said that she would not die. Right? So it's it's very much similar this way, in this in this in this time frame, right? Esau is lying to the people. So this is uh, the book of Mark, chapter one, verse fifteen. It says, "The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel, because the time is the time is now. The very fact that Esau." The so-called white man is at an all-time high of, of pushing his propaganda. He's at an all-time high of military might and all these things. And it's within his plans, immediate plans to just open up. The fact of the matter is that uh, the kingdom of heaven is close because even the Scriptures tell you that through great tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So tribulation goes hand in hand. So it's imminent that what we repent so we're able to enter in. And you can make it through the tribulation because tribulation, when it mentions through tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom, that tribulation is coming upon everybody. But not everyone will make it into the kingdom, only those that repent of the nation of Israel. Of you Jace that don't repent in America and across the world, the Most High is going to destroy you. And you're going to fall victim to these different uh, death methods that are that that are that are being set up across the earth right now. You're going to fall victim to that if you don't repent. So all praise goes to Yahweh Shem Yahushai Shalom.